Hello everyone, it's Joel from EV Geek Studios, and this is your mini charge episode for Thursday, January 1st, 2026. Happy New Year, everyone. 2025 was a record-breaking year for electric vehicles, and the biggest winners might not be who you think. While a lot of headlines still focus on Tesla and traditional automakers trying to catch up, three companies on the other side of the world just quietly posted some of the biggest numbers the EV industry has ever seen. Today, we're talking about how China's EV giants, BYD, NIO, and Xpeng, reshaped the global auto industry with massive sales, explosive growth, and a clear signal that the balance of power in electric vehicles is shifting. If you're wondering what this means for Tesla, legacy automakers, investors, or even your next car purchase, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. First up, what does it mean when we talk about record deliveries and record sales in the EV world? Simply put, deliveries refer to the number of vehicles that manufacturers actually bring to customers. Sales often means the same thing, but on an annual and global scale. Thousands, or in some case, millions of EVs hitting the road signals consumer demand, production strength, and market momentum. Let's start with NEO, the premium EV maker known for its battery swap tech and lifestyle-oriented SUVs and sedans. In December 2025, NEO delivered 48,135 vehicles, a new monthly record, and a 54.6 year-over-year increase. It's huge. If you're tracking seasonally in card sales, December is often a punch-packed month, but to surge by more than half compared to last year is no small feat. For the fourth quarter of 2025, NEO delivered 124,807 vehicles, another quarterly record, with nearly 72% growth over quarter four of 2024. And over the entire year, well, NEO just clocked in 326,028 deliveries, up nearly 47% year over year. That puts them on a steep growth curve compared with previous years. So what's driving this? Well, first, you have strong demand for their core SUV lineup, especially the Gen 3 and ES8 models. Re-energized production lines and supply chain optimization. And an increasingly global footprint that's reaching beyond China's borders. Now let's talk Xpeng another major Chinese EV contender that blew past expectations in 2025. Xpeng delivered around 429,445 vehicles globally in 2025, a staggering 120%, I can't even say because it's so big, 126% increase compared to 2024. That's more than doubling its sales in just one year. Unlike NEO, whose growth has been more concentrated in the premium tiers, Xpeng's strategy has focused on volume across multiple segments, including sedans and SUVs, and tapping into that international market. Their December numbers, roughly 37,500 vehicles for the month, still showed growth, even if the pace was more modest month to month. So what's going on behind Xpeng's surge? Well, you have aggressive pricing and product lineup expansion, a growing presence in Europe, Southeast Asia, and South America, as well as investments in charging infrastructure and sustainability initiatives, all helping them widen their global footprint. Now, on to the headline maker, BYD. You ready for some big numbers? In 2025, BYD sold approximately 4.6 million electric vehicles. That's right, 4.6 million electric vehicles in 2025, up almost 8% year over year, making it one of the largest EV sellers in the world. 
To put that in context, this volume was enough to surpass Tesla's estimated deliveries for the year, marking the first time a Chinese automaker has overtaken Tesla globally. A few things to know about BYD's performance. Passenger electric vehicles made up the vast majority of its sales. Overseas sales jumped by over 150% as BYD pushed hard into other international markets. And the company continued to integrate battery and energy storage tech into its ecosystem, showing strength not just in cars, but in the broader energy landscape. So while the pace of growth slowed compared with earlier boom years, BYD's scale is still staggering. Millions of EVs hitting roads across China and beyond. So after hearing all these numbers, what does this mean for the EV industry as we step into 2026? Well, here are a few takeaways. First, Chinese EV leadership is real. The combined results from BYD, NIO, and Xpeng signal a shift in global EV power dynamics, with China not just competing, but leading. Diversification matters. BYD's reach in energy storage, coupled with Xpeng's international strategy and NEO's premium focus, shows multiple paths to success. And three, growth isn't just raw numbers. It's also where growth happens in new markets, new segments, and new technologies. So looking ahead, what are some things we need to keep an eye on? First, international expansion. China's EV makers are actively pushing into Europe, Latin America, and Southeast Asia. Charging and infrastructure. Sales are one piece. The ecosystem to support them is another. And also consumer preferences. As models diversify, so does demand, from budget EVs to luxury electric SUVs. And don't forget competition from legacy automakers like Volkswagen and Toyota, who are racing to electrify their own lineups. All right, that's your mini charge episode for today. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube. And if you're listening on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, tap that follow button and leave us a quick rating. It really helps the show grow. If you found this episode helpful, make sure to follow EV Geek Studios on social media and catch our weekly Friday Charge episodes where we dive deeper into stories like this and break down what they mean for you, the EV driver and enthusiast. Until next time, stay charged and stay geeky.